Libra. Hello Libra, this is your September forecast for 2013 and uh, this month, can you believe it that we're already into autumn, how fast this year has processed. But this month is going to allow you to kind of step back a little bit because your sun, new moon and Mercury will be in your 12th house and that is taking a hiatus, taking a rest, a well needed one as well and uh, where you're going to be contemplating a whole lot more on I should say more your uh, deeper needs or higher needs, spiritual needs. Um, <clears throat> in this, uh, I, I see there's like this tranquil healing uh, process taking place where you're really joining with um, your, your heart and your heart chakra. And Venus is then transiting the first house, which is going to allow you to radiate like the social butterfly that you are. Libras are known to be very flirty of nature and uh, having your ruler planet here in the first house well that has just been taking you straight through august here now with this beautiful sparkle and glow and hue that you have and mars was now in the 11th house so it's a time for you to be out and about and uh, connect and reconnect with friends uh, there is uh, hopes, wishes, and dreams here, and I see you connecting to more of that, that playful side of yourself. Um, the 11th house is uh, friendships, but it's also um, organizations and uh, people in uh, places that can actually, together and along with you, inspire you to grow more of who you are. It's ruled by Uranus, this area, the 11th house. And it kind of shows it's that part of your consciousness that is a little bit more that thinks outside of the box, that unconventional side of you that Mars is going to have real fun with here this month. Then we have Jupiter in your 10th house for career. It is doing absolutely wondrous up there. It is expanding your area. Whether you're working, if you're studying, well that too because Jupiter also rules higher education. Uh, so that could be your work, <clears throat> but also I'm seeing how many of you now are starting to reap, you know, what you've worked for for so long, and especially those of you, I'd say, that's born in the first half of your sign, have already now been touched by uh, Jupiter, and you've seen what it's been bringing to the table. The others of you, you're still feeling it, because it is in your sign, but it's going to get even better yet when it comes to your point in the chart where your sun is. Then we have also Uranus in the seventh house. So that's relationships, long-term committed relationships, marriages and so forth, partnerships too. And uh, Uranus uh, here shows that, you know, it's going to be here another five or six years too. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, what that does, it brings a lot of excitement uh, in uh, terms of change. And uh, change, when we, we look for it, is always a good thing, and that is the exciting part. But then there's also when change comes to us when we didn't expect it. Now, that can always be a little upsetting. And change can come from this area of your chart. Not saying necessarily just now. It's been here already, you know, for, for a year and a half, and it's going to be there for, for several more years to come. But depending on where it's touching your personal planet is when this energy will just pop on you. So that's what she's going to do there. And uh, then we have Neptune, sixth house for dieting. Um, it's your health. It's also how you organize your life and uh, what it is you want to implant as part, as part of routines, like new routines. And I'm seeing how many of you are really starting to feel uh, the need for having some time for yourself and, and maybe playing some beautiful music, some uplifting music here uh, <clears throat> that can lift you. And uh, this is a part of the diet, in fact, that many of you are going to be reaching and longing for more and more as Neptune kind of gets a grip and a hold of this part of your chart. Um, Neptune's only here 4 degrees, it's got 26 more degrees to go, and that is over a span of 15 years, so it takes time, okay? But, but you will feel that, that need for, and you're already, you know, 
person who wants balance and harmony, but you're going to feel this need for even more harmony in your life <clears throat> where Neptune can do its magic spiritually for you. So let's look at what we have here for this month because we're starting off on September 1st. We got the Sun and Pluto and uh, that is a breakthrough of something that you've been working for that you now can feel is cutting to the core. For you, that will be between the uh, 12th house, those inner needs that you've been wanting, and in some kind of arrangement with your home, uh, family, ties, roots, or, or who you live with also. So, so whatever that is, there's like this understanding that's coming in and being put on the chart for you. Then we have the new moon, also in this area of the 12th house, here on September 5th. And uh, the new moon is always, like we talk about, the time to plant seeds for intentions and time to put our affirmations in there. So what are you supposed to uh, have your affirmations and intentions about this month? It's all those things, 12th house, um, spiritual, subconsciousness, the inner self, not as much as the external outer world as it is for you. And in this, I'm saying that the new moon here could help you actually put it on your calendar for, for these coming months until next year, that you're allowing yourself to take a little step back more often, not just now because you need to, because now the planets are through there, but even in those months when the planets are not there, that you consciously can give yourself time and space to know that you can step back into the sacred inner chamber of yourself so that you can heal there because it's going to be important you've got a lot of things going on in your chart Libra and just knowing and becoming conscious of the things that we're able and capable to do that is what astrology is all about then we kind of move on here Mercury is going to move out of this 12th into the first house so you're going to feel like up and running and more communicative again this is all from um, the, the 8th, yes, from uh, September 8th, and uh, she will be very busy there putting herself out, chatting and balancing up those things that are important to you uh, in your daily life, and you will also be attracting people who are more now open and prone to be communicative. We have uh, on the uh, 9th a little to-do situation, Mars and Saturn not too happy with each other, and it might just be because you're wanting to do something over here and that might cost some money where Saturn's saying, nope, you got to hold back on it. Saturn going through your, your financial house isn't always of the easiest. It's been there now for the last, mm, I don't know, eight or nine months. Still going to be with you here for another two, over two years, two to two and a half years. So it's like, mm, Mars is wanting to spread its wings, do its dance, you know, Mars's action and activity and goals and in the area of uh, hopes, dreams and friendships and so forth. And so Saturn's saying, yeah, but can you afford it? You know, so it's like throwing water on the fire and uh, you know how that goes. But that's only a passing thing. Over a couple of days, we will be followed by a new dream here on the 13th when Venus and Neptune um, align beautifully and Venus you know is your love and what you love and how you love and coming into your second house there of uh, finances but also those mm, shall I say feelings and commitments of self-worth is tying up to, to Neptune here in your sixth house so I see how you're going to do something on this date that will alleviate some of the pressure that Saturn just did to Mars and say, hey, it's not all that bad, do this instead. You can do this, you know? And I see how it's lifting you, and Venus will be all happy, and therefore I said, it's not gonna last long here with that Mars Saturn. <clears throat> then we have some excitement, unexpected things coming in on the 14th. Uh, this is a Mars and Uranus, which is from nowhere, apparently, a situation that's gonna land on you. And it, not necessarily from nowhere, because I can see where it's coming from, and it's coming from your partner. On this day, it looks like there is either good news, or it could be a gift, or just something really nicely said and or done for you, and I see it coming like as a very nice surprise. 
Now, for those of you working tightly on a project here, I'm also saying that this day can bring some kind of new doors opening up uh, within some organizations or groups that uh, hold good promise for a future commitment and uh, how you can work together in very exciting and energetic ways too. Okay, kind of ingenious ways perhaps. Then we have Saturn and uh, Venus. They are together here in, once again in your financial house. So there's stuff going on here in September. But Venus, yes, here will be lining up with uh, Saturn and having you make some kind of a commitment to yourself. Now this is not others, but, but more for yourself and, and looking over what is important to you. And this is where you're going to be putting your money. And uh, then it's also this commitment of, well, I'm going to put aside this for that for later. Okay, so I see you being kind of sober here this day, but feeling good though, because actually once we really start taking the reins for uh, the reins, sorry, it's my Norwegian, um, to steering where we're heading, it, it helps us because then what we've been procrastinating with or resisting a little bit, once we start doing it, we feel really good about ourselves. And this is what you're going to be feeling, that you've taken control of it. And then we have also some passionate energy coming in because this very same Venus here in the sign of Scorpio, and that's passion in itself, right? Um, is also lining up with Pluto, which is the ruler of that Scorpion energy, which is also passion. So this night, this day, um, and give it at least a couple of days for this transit to kind of work itself. Um, so the 18th and 19th there is a good time for you to actually uh, spend with your partner, uh, have a nice cozy home evening or something. And I see how it can be a transformative uh, couple of days here for both of you, uh, in fact. It's like catching up with maybe something that's been a little lost here over summer or throughout all the busyness and now it's really joining and coming in to that internal core between the two of you. Um, the 19th, I think, the consequences of what you did here on the 18th, uh, the 19th, it looks like something is, has fallen into place. Um, and it could also be something else also coming into the picture, but it ties in, in fact, with your uh, moon node, which has to do with your point of destiny, okay, where you're, you're aiming. And Venus is empowering this ability to kind of meet up with this karmic point. And that will be healing, very healing for you because right behind it also there's a healing day here with Chiron. So between the two of those things it looks like something has changed or shifted uh, a corner, opened up some new doors for you and I, I see you just feeling very tranquil uh, and that's important for you librarians to, to feel that. And Pluto, as we're talking about this whole pivotal point of transformation here on these days, is waking up from a long-term sleep. It's been retrograde for very many months and moving ahead now in the area of home for you. So you can feel that roots and family, family members, parents perhaps too, uh, will now start uh, in energy now where you're going to be more active than what it has been. It's kind of a little dormant here for, for some time, but not now. Watch that start picking up. And then with more intensity as she picks up speed, it takes a little time to find that traction when it's been going backwards for so long and now moving forwards. The end of this month, mark this on your calendar. We've got Venus and Jupiter, and this is now in your uh, first house and your tenth house. So a time to radiate and shine. This is you. This is the love you are, the Venetian energy of Libra, now shining out through the house of personality and then joining with Jupiter up there in your career house. So whatever it is you're aiming for, wanting to achieve, well, this would be the day that the universe is going to kind of like bestow upon you a few beautiful, nice little gifts doesn't have to come in into a material real.
those gifts can be blessings that we, we can count from above. It can be the energy that we feel from within and the energy that we kind of funnel out to the world. So beautiful way to end this month here at Libra. And so do listen to your rising sign and your moon sign and that will give you even more of an insight for what's going on with you here in September. So till next time, 